Okay, hi everybody, my name is Susana Rojas and I am standing before you as the director of Mission Girls. Today I have the honor of introducing one of our girls. So at Mission Girls we strive and every day we empower young women to, ac to achieve academically and to become agents of change in the community. And this young woman who will stand before you in a few seconds is a representation of that. She is 15 years old. She is a four-point student. She is an activist. She is a rapper. And she is a force of nature. Without any further ado, please let me introduce to you Ana Diosdado. This is my speech. Here it goes. <laughs> okay. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in this nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the continent of their character. Dr. Martin Luther King, I have a dream. And like Dr. Martin Luther King, I too have a dream. I have a dream that one day people of color will not be targeted by the police because of the pigment of their skin. I have a dream that the working poor will be able to afford to live in a comfortable home. I have a dream that women will be, able, will be paid equally. It is 2015, and this is still just a dream. Good afternoon. My name is Ana Diosdado. I am 15 years old, and I go to Academy of Arts and Sciences. High school, sorry. Um, oh, sorry. Oh, okay. <sighs> um, <laughs> Let me start off strong, all right? I'm sorry. One of the hardest experiences in my life came when I was 14 years old. I had lived in the Mission District in the same home my whole entire life. The Mission was my home. The Mission was my community. Unfortunately, at the end of March last year, my family and I received a one-month notice to raise our rent to 3,500 a month or leave our home. I still remember my mom's brown face turning pale white as she, con as she continuously cried on the phone as she begged for shelter. My heart nearly broke in half and turned black. What do I live for, I asked. With the help of Mission Girls, we were able to find temporary shelter. We stayed at a shelter downtown, but it wasn't easy whatsoever. And hope started to drift away from us when my, my, when my mom's documents kept on being rejected by the shelter's case manager for permanent housing. Even this shelter, who we hoped would provide us with hope and help, seemed to only care for the little rent money we could provide. We ended up staying at, the, at that shelter for eight months, but it felt longer. It felt like it would never end. We only stayed because we had no other choice. At the end, the shelter asked us to leave even though we did not have a place to live. We stayed at a friend for two months. We were thankful for her generosity for having an inflatable mattress to lay our heads on at the end of every night. I felt devastated. I was questioning myself, my religious beliefs. I was angry. My self-esteem plummeted, plummeted, and I felt alone. I felt, oh, Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. I'm just kind of nervous right now, and I'm like, ah. It's my first time, guys. <laughs> <laughs> One day, I saw a march. The protesters were marching for affordable housing. This march made me realize that I wasn't the only one going through this. It made me realize that there were other working poor families struggling with a place to live. This march made a difference in my life. This march made me acknowledge that there must be change now. To the people in the streets, defeating, resisting, and persisting, you gave me hope. 
I now feel empowered. I realize that I don't have, I, do, I don't, I did not have to be the victim. And I realize that it is time to create unity. As a part of Mission Girls, I participated in a program called Young Queens. Dulce, my case manager through Young Queens, asked, um, talked to us about our youth-led grant that was available for youth to create change in their community. She asked us for our opinions of, and if we wanted to apply. As we all shared our experiences, I quickly realized that there were a lot of similarities and that we all had struggled with police brutality and gentrification. I too fear the day I might not see my brother because of a cop's actions. We created a plan, applied for the grant, and we were awarded the grant. Now, we are working on helping our peers, the young people who may be wandering through their community feeling lost and without a voice, to find their voice to help them realize, realize, and to see the real world, and how the justice system really works within our community, and how it truly serves our people. And why are our SF natives moving out of our beloved SF? We want our peers to understand that in order for us to resist, we must form unity. We must stand united with one voice within the power we hold in our hearts, in our minds, and within our voice. Although the last year of my life has not been easy, I have found myself questioning and feeling alone and like a victim. It was also a year in which I found my voice and the power within my struggle. I was lucky to have a strong support system by my side. I had my mother, who was always working hard to provide everything for us. I had good teachers at school who encouraged me to keep my grades up. And I have my sisters at Mission Girls. Mission Girls has provided a place where I could find a shoulder to cry on, a place where I could express my voice and find ways to influence others. Sorry. <laughs> and it has provided me with a group of young women who love me and accept me and, cur and encourage me to be my true self. Mission Girls has also introduced me to new people and opportunities that allow me to be the activist who resists the teen girl who dreams, the student who achieves, and the young woman who is educating other youth and empowering them to create unity amongst us young people of color. I stand before you talking about my experience and my journey of empowering others because I am a woman of color who is being held in the arms and the power of the woman who before me fought for our rights to be educated, for us to have the same rights and who dare to have a dream. I am a girl with a story. I am the girl who resisted. I am a girl with a dream.